Hello and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be kicking off our October movie reviews with Venom 2. Not a horror movie, it's a sort of an odd choice, but hey, it came out in October and I saw it. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. First things first, I think that the best part of this movie is Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock and Venom. When these two characters are together on screen, it's really fun. They're very, uh, they have great chemistry. They're very bickering, like a little odd couple. And I enjoy that aspect of this film quite a bit. Like if the movie was just 90 minutes of that, I'd be totally fine. Because that is by far the most entertaining aspect of this entire film. Um, and then also I really like Woody Harrelson as Carnage and Cletus Cassidy. I, um, I really like Cletus Cassidy's character in this film. I feel like he's more fleshed out than I thought they would do because he's just sort of a serial killer, but they give him enough, like, extra things that make him, uh, you know, entertaining and you're sort of like, okay, I get your motivations and they're solid enough, you know? And then you have Naomi Harris playing his sort of love interest, but also like childhood friend, and that is also pretty great. Uh, and it's also sort of interesting that her power is sort of the his weakness. I like that aspect of it. Um, yeah, and then you get Carnage, which I think everyone wanted, and I it's cool, and I think it's a better villain than the first villain. But Cletus Cassidy is the more interesting part of the Carnage and Cletus Cassidy like combo. Like, because Carnage is just essentially a gun. Like, he kills things. But he doesn't really have much of a character beyond he kills things. Like, he's just... He's really just a suit of armor. Like, I don't know. That was sort of a weaker aspect of this film for me. Is sort of his character. Because it's a, a non-character. Um, but yeah. Let's get into action. Because I feel like that's, like, a weak part of the first one, right? Like, you just had this black blob and this gray blob fighting. This one, you have a black blob and a red blob fighting, which is just more easier to differentiate which character is which in the fights, especially since a lot of the fights take place at night, um, which I think they're pretty solid. I think Andy Serkis did a decent amount of job making the action fun to watch, and I like that it, it's not too imaginative, but it's got a few fun little aspects to it. Um, and then we have like the plot of the movie, which eh, it's okay. I don't know. It just is a reason for things to happen. Like if you really think about it too hard, you're sort of like, wow, there's so many inconsistencies and uh, I don't know, but you're here for venom and carnage. And I think if that's what you were here for, I think you'll enjoy it. I think it's sort of better than the first one. It still has some weaknesses. I think the pacing is still a weakness of this film. Uh, I feel like it was a problem in the first movie. I feel like it's a problem here, which is crazy because this movie's only 90 minutes long, which is super short for a superhero movie, but it drags on for, in certain parts. Like there's a part where Venom and Eddie Brock become separated and that part dragged on for me. Um, I just w lost all interest in them while they were not together because when they're not together, Venom is just a teenager and Eddie Brock is just a sad reporter dude. This is just sort of how they act. And I don't know, that's not interesting to me in any way. And it didn't really bring any interesting dynamics, except that it's just like, oh, we're symbiotic, so we have to be together. Uh, which I felt like they figured out in the first movie, but sure, we'll retread it for the sequel. Um, that's probably the weakest part of this film. And also the plot in general, like, uh, like as I said, it's it's really just a reason for things to happen and then you get to the end where carnage fights venom and it works out if for if that's all you wanted um i don't think it really made this superhero movie maybe above average it's probably just an average superhero movie and i don't know if i'll watch this movie again because it's sort of like it's fun to watch but it doesn't have much after that you know and once you've seen it you've sort of seen it so i think this has a very minor uh, audience. I feel like the audience for this movie is people who saw the first one and enjoyed the first one. Because I think you'll enjoy this one because it has more action, better action, and I, it doubles down on the Eddie Brock and Venom relationship when they're on screen together, which I think is great. And I feel like that's the most enjoyable part of this film. 
But if you didn't like the first Venom, like I don't know if you'll like this Venom because it's more of the same really, just sort of done slightly better, which doesn't make it a good movie. It just makes it a better movie than the first Venom. Uh, so yeah, if you like the first Venom, you'll like this probably. If you didn't like the first Venom, this is just more of the same. So at the end of the day, I guess my thoughts on it are, I enjoyed it more than the first Venom. I still didn't enjoy it as much as any other superhero movie. Um, like it's okay. It's just average. Um, and I think that sort of sucks. Um, but you know, it, it's fun enough. It's totally inoffensive. There's some things that don't make sense, but if you came for Carnage fighting Venom, you'll get Carnage fighting Venom at the end of the movie. And also the end credit scene is very important for the future of the MCU, so you'll probably want to sit, uh, sit through and see that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Venom. It's a perfectly average superhero movie that is better than the first one, so slight improvement there. But thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.